So, last time we were tasked with investigating an ancient library that has been abandoned. Maybe... Maybe there's a reason that the, uh, the local scholars don't have any of this, uh, arcane knowledge anymore. Don't neglect your libraries, folks. You've got to keep them going, and then you've got to actually use them. You guys really think there's a witch in this place? Oh, and, and don't forget, the most important thing of all is to make sure that you out. regularly purge the living dead out of it. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I thought that kind of went without saying, honestly. And who comes to a library to read books? Maybe, uh, maybe note those names for later. Yeah, I didn't get a chance to, to read them, but I was gonna say, like, oh, is every one of them gonna be, like, either a stupid pun or a vital clue for a puzzle later? Or possibly both. Time to party. Por que no los dos? Anyway, uh, yeah. It's, uh, it's a skeleton warrior. As, as is the law. They are, they are weak to fire and light. So, you know, they're, they're literally every undead enemy ever. Does this game do the thing where, like, undead enemies get damage from healing? No. No, if you try to be clever about it, you will actually heal them. Man, that's disappointing. So, uh, they have another gimmick we're gonna see in a second. But their primary gimmick is that these guys are fucking card pinatas. Like, I I will do my best to not go into the menu after literally every fight because they have a card drop list that's like 10 or 15 cards long, and every single one of them is just absolute fucking gold. Like, they have armor upgrades for everybody, they have weapon upgrades for Callus, they have uh they have finishers! Like, you can get, like, level 1 finishers from these guys. I mean, I guess it, it makes sense that you'd find a lot of valuable paper in a library. I'm, I'm sorry, did we did we just gloss over the, the fact that these rooms in this library have been sealed for a hundred years? Like, has it been a hundred years since anybody learned geography? Am I understanding this correctly? You know... Nobody... Who really needs to learn geography? It depends. I could stand to forget all about Oxbow Lakes. But, like, I don't know. The human stuff seems pretty decently important these days. Shout out to everybody's boring geography teacher. We all know you had one. Uh, like, are these guys actually any way notable in a fight other than stuff that they drop? Yes. They have a very special gimmick. Which we're going to see in about three seconds. I'm put astonishingly ill at ease by the way in which you said that. Ah! It's one of these. Yeah! We know this fight. Well, this seems horrific. So yeah, so you can imagine every single fight with these guys going pretty much exactly like that. Fun times. Anyway, it's this puzzle. We all know this puzzle, right? Anyway, that's a darkness finisher for Liud. We are uh, not going to use that in a dungeon filled with a bunch of undead enemies for obvious reasons. I'm, I'm actually shocked that the game let you walk through that bit. Like, I thought it was going to make you do something like that. 
Anyway, I guess we're not going to have much need for the philosophy key. We can just throw that one away. Anyway, this uh, this dungeon sucks. Like it, like I said, as we'll we'll come across the main thrust of it pretty soon here. But yeah, no, this dun this is the first like capital D dungeon in the game, and it like like when I first like when I did a dry run of it, it took like almost two hours to finish. Eesh. Oh, okay. I'm actually completely astonished that that happened. I thought we were going to have to like push it to like some particular place and then we'd have to find the one place that lets us climb up and then we'd have to jump across all the tops of the bookshelves. Oh don't worry that one's coming. Oh okay good. Like otherwise I'd have had to report a violation. But man, I guess that makes it even worse, because they make it like, hey, you're going to totally be able to do, like, the sensible part of the knot. Just get the damn thing solution. And then later make you do the full thing, full JRPG style anyway. That's like, man. That's rubbing it in a bit. I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, so, uh, I mean, just so far in this dungeon, we got uh, a fire armor upgrade, a water armor upgrade, we got another finisher for Kallus, we got a new weapon for Gabari, and I think we got a new, so and we got an extra light sword for him, too, so. Neat. Yeah, like I said, like I said, it, it takes a lot to not just be diving into the menu every five seconds, like, oh, this is good, I want this, and I want this. Uh. Anyway, I see we've gone from geography to history. And I'm guessing we're going to have philosophy. We're just doing a clean sweep of the humanities, I guess. You know, maybe that's why the uh, all the old wizards were like, we don't give a shit about this place anymore. Like, wh what do they need with philosophy and history? Yeah, nobody needs those things. We're going to be like, yeah, we're going to go all in on natural sciences, because that's the only thing that anybody actually needs, the only discipline with any academic rigour, and the only thing with any purpose to capitalism. We can just discard all that other stuff. Man, there's an entire accidental parable in here, and I kind of love it. Literature? Who needs literature? Just seal that place up. There's absolutely no meaning at all to be found in literature certainly does not provide any means for actually examining the world. I know people who do critical analyses of texts, and they're all idiots. So you thought I was going to go for the obvious Garth Marenghi reference, but I felt that seemed inappropriate. Anyway, so the actual puzzle to this place is that we need to find the four books that were written by the head librarian and then bring them here to this room. Now that seems like a weird thing to make a puzzle out of, both in like a game design sense and a, like the lore of the world. Like, what is going on here? Oh, it's one of those, it's one of those, like, switch puzzles where, like, the door won't open until you put them, put each of them on the correct bookshelf or whatever shit. Anyway, here's the puzzle you were asking about. Right, I see that ladder. Do we have the ability to make very small hops? I guess so, but not onto the red one unless it's up against something? Did I understand that right? That, that's what Callus said, that, you know, that one, it's not quite stable, so, you know, he doesn't want to fall. I mean, three fucking quarters of it are backed up against other solid bookshelves. I don't know. I guess there haven't been any mechanics books in here, so we can't expect him to know that.
Yeah, that, that seems totally different from what we were planning to do the first time. So, like... Does, does anybody ever combine uh, Magnuses with books? Like, is there, is there like a, a book that like every page is a Magnus? Can you like distill the fundamental essence of things down into a book like you can into a card? Probably? Because like we have a Magnus of a photograph, so... Can you have a Magnus of a book? Like, would that just be fucked up or what? Like, Magnuses tend to have a, a whole visual thing going on, so can can you distill things into into words? Like, are, are we going to end up being half missed on this stuff? I mean, we do have those secret recipe Magnus, so... Are we going to learn the art? I mean, we're basically already finding the lost pages. This just seems like a logical progression. That's it. I want to see. I want to see Tricrescendo and Siam Worlds do a crossover. Maybe then we could get some good fucking puzzles, huh? I'm sorry, that was mean. I shouldn't have said that. Are you telling me that these thrilling bookcase bookcase pushing uh puzzles aren't doing it for you? Hmm. I only meant to insinuate that. Of course, some of the, some of the later missed games got pretty fucking obnoxious. Like I don't know, I'm given a lot of side eye to revelations. I reached a limit with that game stuff, and there was only so much that an exclusive Peter Gabriel song could assuage those concerns. Alright, we have done it. We have collected all four books, and now it is time to put them in their proper places. Like, have they all got, like, weird weights inside them that make the shelf register when the right book is in it, or is it just magic again? Nah, you just, you just have to put it in the right section. You know, this one has all the philosophy books, so we put the philosophy book here and whatnot. Yeah, but how does that open a door? Like, I know that this JRPG is, we can only examine this stuff in so much detail, but... Man... I feel very uncharitable towards this kind of stuff. So I am going to play the how the hell does it work card. Also, what... Yeah! So this is why this dungeon fucking sucks. So, uh, you, you will notice that I only checked the ones that actually had the books, and this is why. Because about 80% of the other bookshelves have this. Who? Fighting a book in a JRPG, this never goes badly. I still have nightmares about Tantarian. That, that's neither here nor there, I guess. So there's a, there's actually two flavors of uh, book enemies. Uh, we only got the green ones in this, but there's also a red one that can heal and do an attack buff. The red one can heal? Yeah, the green one puts you to sleep. Also, yeah, um, if it was if we didn't mention it earlier, now that Kalos is class 4, we get 10 seconds at the start of a round. Man, better make your mind up. And bear in mind, we still have two classes to go, because max level is six. I mean, I'm holding out hope that they'll manage to get some fun stuff in exchange for giving up the last vestiges of your even theoretical thinking time. And like, I can, I can also like thoroughly respect that as a progression. Like the whole notion of this stuff is that as you learn more of these things, it starts becoming more instinctive, even if you're still broadly using reason to figure stuff out. Because something I liked about the witness is that 
it's an extremely cerebral, thinky game, but like its notional ultimate challenge isn't solving impossible puzzles, it's solving a bunch of very straightforward puzzles under time pressure. And it kind of flips the game, but it also completely works as like this final progression, like the last thing that it makes you do is demonstrate that you've actually got some mastery over the concept and you can do it almost without thinking. And it works. I did not think that I would wind up comparing this game to The Witness, but uh, there we fucking go. Didn't think I'd end up comparing it to Mist either for that matter. So now that we're coming up on the boss, we're going to take a second and rejigger the party a little bit because uh, in a... Bit of a rude swerve. The uh, the upcoming boss is actually water based. Well, it's water and Chronos, so you or or fire and Chronos, so you want water and wind. Yeah, I would I would have thought that the boss would have been a book again, and we would have had to burn it. I assume those books are weak to fire. They are. They are also, funnily enough, weak to time. No. Yeah. I'd have guessed water. Books aren't really that great at dealing with the elements, are they? Hmm. There isn't anything here. It's deserted. You still think there's a witch hiding away somewhere? I don't know about the witch, but there's obviously a ghost of a librarian. Idiots. Oh, okay. Well, that resolved a hell of a lot quicker than I was expecting. Looks like you took the bait. How I love Yeah, that. it turns out this entire quest was bullshit. One of Gilda Blame's goons. So you set us up with that talk about the witch coming back. Ding dong, that's right. Today's lucky winners will all receive a one-way ticket to hell. And I bet the door puzzle only worked because, like, he was just up there waiting for you to do the thing, and he just unlocked it himself. That sounds about right. Giacomo and Amy. Your grandfather and kid brother have been asking for you down below. Don't make them wait, Callus. Time to take out the rubbish. Excuse me? Come on, even in Britain, nobody uses rubbish in that kind of phrase. It's the, pretty much the only time any of us actually say trash. Like, at least say garbage. That could work. Come on, what the fuck is happening? I'm so specifically annoyed about this. Anyway, what's up? Well, uh, this fight... I guess he has what you could appreciably call a gimmick. Uh, his, his main attack is a three-hit Kronos combo, and then every couple turns he will he will cast an attack buff on himself, and then he'll do his usual three-hit combo followed by a fire finisher. Uh, that sounds potentially troublesome, but kind of manageable. Yeah, it's a lot more manageable when you get to drop 500 damage combos. Is that all? Oh well, I guess I was wrong about his gimmick being insufferable. But then I was also wrong about... Well, I, never, I didn't actually call that we were going to fight him at any particular time, but when I said that, I was thinking like it was going to be way more hours into the game before we have to fight him. So... I guess I was wrong about that, even though I didn't actually say it. But yeah, no, we've uh, we've seen pretty much everything there is to full on here. At this point, it's just a damage race. And that seems to be happening a lot lately. 
I, I don't know. I, I expected for a game with this level of, like, oh, I don't know if it's fully complex yet, but yeah, with a, a game that has this ongoing card game system, I kind of expected way more gimmicks for boss battles than we've actually gotten. That's fair. I mean, I think... I don't know how I feel about that in particular with regards to, like, some of these. Like, because, like, Fallon's gimmick is okay. Like, he's not... Like, there are way more egregious gimmick bosses. But... At least, at least, like in comparison to the uh, to the tank, he's attacking you every turn. Like I, I don't know the 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 classic thing with with JRPGs is that you're the you have the the standard mobs just being the the you know is your party decent? Can you survive this much stuff? And then the bosses become you know, the puzzles with the gimmicks where you gotta you gotta figure something out and then exploit the gimmick and like and think of it. And a damage, I guess a damage race is one kind of a gimmick that a boss can have, and then you know, it makes sense. You you bust out for, for that one particular fight where, hey, this is a damage race, and you have to suspend your normal tactics and go all in on damage. But that that's one gimmick. You can't just keep doing that. I mean, hell, Final Fantasy XIII managed to come up with more interesting battle gimmicks sometimes. So, I hope this game manages to bust out more stuff. Uh, we, 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 we have a ways to go, so... I have, I have faith in this card game bullshit. I was really trying to get that quad four there. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen a whole lot of that stuff paying off so far. I mean, I haven't been uh, like I, I can't say that I've been totally attentive to stuff that's going on in combat, but it seems like we haven't like I haven't noticed any of the weird number stuff paying off. So, the thing with that is that it checks a lot of that stuff individually. So, like, at, you notice it a lot more the further in we get, because, like, with more cards, we have more options to work with. So, like, Callus being able to drop five cards a turn, like, if we were to do a full house, what you would end up getting would be, like, it would give you a three-card bonus and a two-card bonus at the same time. So that it lets you start breaking up your combos into more into more manageable chunks. So that you don't have to necessarily get that same amount in one go. So like I I don't know if if I've actually noticed it happening, but like do you does the game give you a lot of particularly unambiguous confirmation when you manage to pull this stuff off? Like, when you put a combo together? Yeah. Like, there's a flash up of things like, like, hey, you got a combo, and, like, here's what you got from it. Like, it won't tell you, like, when you're setting it up and playing your cards, but, like I said, it's it's always listed in the actual, uh... Like, in the results screen, it will, it'll very explicitly tell you, you got two pairs, you got a two and a three, you got a one to five straight, whatever. I, I always like it when when like when video games manage to give you this the very explicit like here's what you just did here's an obvious thing to make it like really apparent that it was good okay yeah I saw that but, like be open with the mechanics shabby for mere humans I must say you made it interesting but playtime's over now time to lose in a cutscene. How'd you like that? It's the power of Malpercio. I mean, it didn't look all that impressive to me, to be honest. Malpercio? Yep. We're still working on it, though. 
This is nothing compared to the cursed god's true power once fully awakened. When that happens, we'll finally be able to shed these clumsy shells of ours. But you'd no longer be human. Lady, I think that ship has sailed. If so, you should just give up and die. It's as simple as that. That's the way history goes. Anyway, enough chatting. Time to die. Ah, a Darwinist. Always love those. So they got away. Well, I'll let them live a tad longer. Whoever it was that attacked me looked awfully like an Imperial... Nah, couldn't be. It isn't like the average Joe could pull off such a feat. But this... It was nice of him to sound all that out. Hmm, who is this mysterious person that could have saved us? It isn't like we needed help, you know. We almost had him. And you were in a cutscene. You were you... basically fucked. I know that face. Come to the village by the waterfall. Sorry I can't stick around to hold your hands on the way. Thank you for saving us. I want real badly to comment on her outfit, but like, it's kind of got my brain jammed. Everyone all right? I mean, I don't know what yes. to say about it when Gibari's sitting right there. Fine. Yeah, but with with Gibari, we've already I had all the discourse. Like, we've had nineteen years of it since Final Fantasy X yeah, to discuss yeah, his I appearance. Know. If you weren't okay, I'd probably be dead already. Got it all out of my system, you know? That guy back there? I don't care how much of Malpercio's power he packs. Next time I see him, I'll make him regret he ever met me. That lady, someone said she's a hunter, living in the mountains. Why did she help us? She countered that man's, um, Milan's attack with ease. Anyway, let's get moving. We gotta find this village of hers. We can't just follow her? She can't be that far away. I mean, she did tell us that she wasn't gonna be able to hold our hand on the way there. Anyway, I guess, yep, yeah, we've accomplished absolutely nothing. And I guess technically we did meet an entirely new person who immediately betrayed us, we just didn't realise that they were the same person at the time. Anyway, our reward for coming all the way to the back is, uh, is this diary. I kind of blistered this, but th the short version of it is that yeah, the head librarian is cheating on his wife with the receptionist, and his big idea is that he's going to hide it by writing a boring, like, magic theory sounding title on it so that his wife would never check it. And then his brother-in-law borrows that book. Wait, somebody actually went to read a book? I... I got nothing. Anyway, this all seems totally normal and reasonable. These are the actions of a sane and rational man. With his priorities firmly in order. Uh, 
Anyway, now that we have accomplished nothing, we're gonna come back and, uh, pretty much just class everybody up and get ready for the next trek. Yeah, at least we got levels. It's like literally the only thing we got out of it. I mean, we also got a lot of very nice cards. Oh yeah, right, the skeletons. Uh, if you were so inclined to grind them, the uh, the books also drop ev drop level two spells of every element for Jella. Decent. I mean, I guess it it's an RPG. They gotta expect you to grind this stuff once you realize that it's all there. Well, you probably also get more of them when you're not playing this again after the fact. Like, oh, I already know where all the shit is, so I don't need to fight all these crap. <laughs> 